Feels like it's like 65. Super nice. Put my shades on. All right, so um, if you're just getting on, all you're gonna need for this is two single dumbbells. I'm working with the 12 and a 30. Uh, so one that's like preferably a little bit lighter for a forward raise and a lateral raise, and then one that's a little bit heavier for some leg stuff and some overhead stuff. So um, let's warm up. Let's start a little bit with the shoulders and then we'll do some hips and knees and get it going. All right, so let's bring it out and go open palm. And all we're gonna do is do little shoulder taps. Stand up nice and straight, just extending through the arm there, get a little motion through the joints. If you're just waking up, good morning. Maybe this is your first movement of the day. Ugh, let's bring it in like this, look like a cactus, and then just bring them in. And then press out, squeeze at the back. Bring it all the way. Try to touch the elbows together when you come in. We'll get one more of these. And then we'll come right back out again. But this time we'll go with our palms down because we're going to do like a little bit of a twist here. We'll get those shoulders to do their thing. So when we go to do, we have some overhead stuff happening right away. So I want you to feel good getting into that action. All right, a little bit of hips. All we're gonna do is just take like a three quarter squat, just like a little mini. We're gonna step it to the side and then step it to the other side. So it's just as simple as this. Just a little bit. Start to get some activation in the hamstrings. Get those hips working. A little bit of lateral movement. All right. We're gonna do the same sort of thing, except we're gonna step it out as wide as you can. Squat it down. Bring it all together. We're gonna do one more in this direction and then we'll stand up and bring it back. I know most people are probably working with limited space. So try to be aware of that here. And I always try to program things for these that don't require you to be moving around a ton. Yeah, that gets the hips going though. Right there. Okay, one more here. Do a little bit of, uh, they're like toy soldiers, except we're not gonna walk, we're just gonna stay still. So I'm gonna go with my right hand, it's gonna go to my left foot. And I'm just gonna keep rotating, just like this. Don't worry about going fast, try to stay nice and balanced here. Try to get some activations through your glutes, hamstrings, Let's get one more on each. All right. A little bit of lower back action. I'm gonna have you be in this position. So you're gonna just shift the hip down. So I don't know why I just did it from the side. <laughs> so you're like this, okay? So I'm gonna have you reach all the way over to your open foot. And then you're gonna row up and then throw it at a diagonal like that. So really gentle on that lower back, but it starts to try to open up some tissues through the chest as you do this. And then a little bit of a gentle turn with that back. A couple more. One more. Now, just make a nice shift over to the other side. Take your time in setting it up. 
Grab it just like you're grabbing a dumbbell to row through up to the top. Nice diagonal line. You might find that each time, like I feel like I'm reaching a little bit further each time on both sides. One more. All right, let me explain what's happening. I got my timer and I have it set for six minutes. So we're gonna work with two exercises for six minutes straight. So it's like as many rounds as possible that we can get. And uh, this will allow us to all sort of work together, but we're all sort of maybe ending at different points. I might get in four rounds, you might get in six rounds, but we're still working in like a six minute time period. So what you're gonna need is your heavier dumbbell. If you have a heavier dumbbell, that's what you're gonna need for these two exercises. Let me show you what they look like. First of all, we're gonna do a shoulder action. So I've got my bell where I'm gonna come from the shoulder, over, tap the shoulder. So they're called rainbow presses and we're just gonna be doing that. Five on each side, so a total of 10. So each time we tap it, we'll count that as a rep. Things to be aware of, we wanna be using our core and not leaning back. So if it helps you to take a staggered stance, I might have to do that as the rounds go on, then totally go for that. Um, if you have a weight that's, you're like, I don't even have a weight that's like heavy enough for that, but you have two, then just do shoulder, 10 shoulder presses. That's fine, that'll work. All right, our second exercise is gonna be a lower body exercise. Single bell, same thing, you use a heavier bell if you have it. And it's gonna be a wider stance, so like a sumo squat. And what we're gonna do is shift, I'm shifting my hips back and down. I'm gonna tap the head of the dumbbell, keeping my chest and my head up. And then I'm gonna come up about six inches, pause for about two seconds, and then up to the top. And that's one. Pause, up to the top. Five on that arm, and then five on this arm. So a total of 10. And then we go right back to the rainbow presses for six minutes. So things to be aware of with this lift, we don't wanna be rounding. We wanna keep things a little bit more upright. Chest is up, I'm looking ahead. The pause is time under tension for your glutes and your hamstrings. Keeping your chest up is gonna help you to not use your lower back as well. So I know there's a lot to it, but that's a pretty complex move really. All right, I got the timer, get your stuff set. We'll get going here. Let me get my water, I'm sure I'll need it. And we're gonna start with that shoulder rainbow press. get my notes so they don't blow away all right get your bell we're gonna get a set three two one here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten I'm gonna get set up immediately for this. Pause, up, two, three, four, five. Switch hands for another five. Up, two, three, Four. The pause really makes you slow it down too. Five. Okay, that's one round that I've got in. Hopefully you're somewhere around where I am. Go right into this, press again. Two, three.
to. Also too, if your bell is starting to get pretty heavy with the overhead work and you need to add a little push press, that's fine too, you know? If that helps you to get a good safe rep, go for it. I'm on my third round. We have about three minutes to go. So we're gonna get a lot of good work in. Go at your own pace, obviously. We're doing it together, but it doesn't mean you have to be exactly where I'm at. One. Two. Three. Four. It's gonna be sore tomorrow, I can tell you that already. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take breaks as you need to in between these. Don't feel like you have to power through and keep going. Get a drink of water, catch your breath. Um, if you have two lighter dumbbells and you wanna use two of them, just like this, that's fine too. Whatever works for you. Two, three, four, five. Woo. A little over a minute. Try to get another round in here. Every time I drop the bell, I'm standing on this huge crack in the sidewalk. Nice. One. Two. Five. Hang in there. We got about 40 seconds. Not even that. A little bit less. Two. Three, four, five. Woo, we're getting there. Let's see if we can get some more presses in. That's time, that's six minutes. I think I got, hey, here. I think I got like five rounds. What about you guys? What'd you get? Felt like a lot. <laughs> All right, let me reset this. You're gonna have to go inside if you can't be good. Okay. You recover, I'm gonna explain our second thing. You're gonna have to go inside if you can't stop. Lightweight. Lightweight for this one. Fair. Okay. Same format. We're going to work in six minute uh, increment here. We're going to do two things. 
So first thing's gonna look like this. I got my bell. I'm gonna have it in the center in front of me. And I'm gonna squat down whatever your normal squat stance is. Shift those hips down, keeping my chest up. So try not to lean forward like that. As soon as I get into that bottom part of my squat, I'm gonna raise this up for a forward raise, bring it down nice and slow, and then stand up. So we gotta do five on this arm, and then we gotta switch it and do five on that arm. And then we're gonna pair it up, same thing, lightweight. All you need is a lightweight for this. And you're gonna do a lateral raise. So I'm gonna come with my bell like this, and it's gonna come out to the side. I'm gonna try as much as I can to keep this shoulder open. So what I mean by that is try not to have it turn over and come forward. If anything, you want it to be open and back a little bit, like that. Also try not to be getting momentum and all that stuff. Try to like stay as strict as possible for five on that side and then five on that side. All right, get your bell set. We're gonna get it going here pretty quick. So squat to the raise for five switch hands, get the other side, and then we'll go into that lateral raise. So this is gonna be a good amount of shoulder work. Um, and I think that's our last bit of like shoulder intensive stuff. Okay, six minutes. Let's see how many rounds we can get. Here we go. That's one. Two, three, four, and five. So it's a lot of core strength here to stay upright as well. Trying to tip over. All right, lateral raise. Everybody's favorite. really helps you identify the weak muscles in your shoulders, that's for sure. All right, I got a round in. I'm gonna hit my second round right now. Um, another thing with this too, is gonna be really tempting to do this. Try to just squat first, then raise. Think of it as two, almost two movements. This is also the last of the squatting for today. <laughs> no more squats after this set. Okay. Thing I like about lateral raises too, obviously it hits that lateral part of your shoulder, but depending on how you have your wrist and keeping the shoulder open, you can also start to get into some of that rear shoulder which is an area that's not hit very frequently. So it tends to be a very weak area for most people. Oh, I'm moving into my third round. We're right, I'm right on pace. I got the three minutes to go. So here we go. Tough. 
I don't care what kind of weight you have for this one, it's tough. Just using that little top to pause too. Nice. Anytime you can create a little bit of time under tension for the muscle, that's only going to bode well. Oof, lateral raises are so hard. a minute. Get set up for this. Take a breath. Sweating. Working. Whole body's working, that's for sure. Here we go. <sighs> 30 seconds, 30 seconds. See if I can get these lateral raises. Killing me. Two. Come on. Three. Four. I don't know if well, I was going to say, I don't think I have another round in me. <laughs> that was harder than I thought it was going to be. The lateral raise, right? How's everybody doing? Are we doing good? Hopefully, you're with me. Okay, we have another six minute set. So we are gonna be on the ground. Um, you'll need your heavier dumbbell for this one. It's gonna be a core exercise that you can actually do with or without a dumbbell, and then a tricep exercise, ideally with a dumbbell. <laughs> okay, join me on the ground. All right. Let me show you. So let me show you without the bell first, and then I'll show you with the bell. So I'll lay down on my back. I'm gonna bring my knees up. Do you want me to get like this? Is this a better angle? Video guy? Okay. Up like this. Your hands can be right above you or just a little bit behind you, and you're gonna tap the heel one by one. Simultaneously, I'm pushing my hips into the pad as hard as I can into the ground. So it's a lot of core work. The more I bring my hands sort of like behind me, the more it's gonna work. Take your time. So the other option is to grab a dumbbell safely, of course. <laughs> and I grab it by the ends like this. I'll get myself set up and I'll bring it just a little bit. That's just gonna add a little more resistance. So you're gonna need to do what works for you. Maybe you start off with a bell and it gets really hard and then you ditch it. That's fine, whatever you gotta do. Uh, second one, we're also gonna be seated. It's gonna be an overhead, you know, an overhead dumbbell tricep extension. But the trick here is we're seated on the ground. So we're taking our legs out of it. I usually sit like this, makes me sit nice and upright, use my core, bring the bell over just like this. Full extension, all the way to the top. Shooting for 10, 10 extensions with that knee thing with the heel taps. 
Uh, ten total, five on each side. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other option, if you do not feel stable sitting like this, you can put your feet out, or if you want to sit cross-legged, that's completely fine. Uh, it's really important to get the bell safely up, too. So a couple ways you can do it. You can bring it over like that, or you can bring it around like that, which I don't, I, I tend to mostly, honestly, go up and over, and then I can get my hands around it like that. So uh, just be careful, okay? If you're working with two very light dumbbells, you can grab the two, you know, like if you have like two lighter, you can do the same thing. All right, let's get started. So we got uh, six minutes of work. We're gonna start on our backs with the uh, four taps. All right, get set up. Bring legs up. Here we go. Ah, I'm gonna use this. Remember to push those hips in. So I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna grab this, bring it up top. Tricep extension seated on the ground or uh, you know on a chair or whatever significantly harder than standing that's for sure so maybe if you're used to doing it a certain weight standing you probably want to take it down a notch or reduce the reps glasses are steaming up all right I'm heading into my second round we're a little over a minute in take your time getting up and down I'm gonna be fighting for reps on those, I can tell you that. Whew, that was tough. Okay. Lose these steamy. How we doing, everybody? We are halfway there. We got three minutes to work with here. However many rounds we can get in. your arms. Mine are killing. Killing. I don't even know what round this is.
biceps are killing. We have about a minute and a half. I'm gonna take a second before I go into this next round. We have 55 seconds. I can do that again 30 seconds so we've done each of these has been six minutes if you think about it it's only 18 minutes of work right if you break it down like that <laughs> Thank goodness. I didn't want to do that again. There's no way. Woo, take a minute, take a minute, take a minute. That was good. That was tougher than I thought with the overhead tricep. All right, I got a finisher coming up. Get ready for it. It's not gonna be timed, but I do want to do something that works the back and a little bit more core. So we are just gonna do three rounds of this. So I want you to get set with the heavier weight and I'm gonna show you, it's just gonna be a row. We're gonna go underhand, so it's gonna be a little bit more bicep. Um, we're gonna get in this position and it's gonna come down like this, just like this. I'm gonna try to do six to eight reps on one side and then we're gonna flip it we do six to eight on the other side. So we're actually just gonna move back and forth like this and do three straight steps, three straight sets. Okay, so heavier weight, we'll stick with that underhand grip every time. And depending on what weight you're working with and how your body's feeling, you're gonna shoot for six to eight, all right? So grab it, we're not timed. Here we go. go eight. I'm going to set it down, get in position on the other side, put it right by my foot, get my elbow. When I pull it, this bell is ending up by my hip like that. All right, that's one set. Hopefully your second set. Get set up, underhand grip again. When I'm doing a row of any kind, a single arm row, I'm really focusing on this shoulder coming back. One thing that I see a lot when people are doing rows is they're pulling up like this. The shoulder comes way down. You're not really engaging the back muscles like you should. And sometimes it's just a matter of that little tweak. Okay, building up, building up. Ambulance going by, a little bit of an emergency. 
Third set, third and final. I'm on the second side of my last set. Take your time setting it up always. Ooh, that was good. Nice row. Are you ready for the core finisher? Big core finisher. Get your weight. We're going timed. All right. If you did the live workout with me, I guess it's been about a month now, honestly. We did a move where we had the bell next to us. Let me just get this set so we're not working for six minutes. <laughs> we're gonna work in 25 second increments and we're gonna get a uh, 15 second break. All right, so I got the bell right next to my hip. Uh, if you don't have a dumbbell that's heavy enough, you can use any anything really. You can grab a backpack or a heavy book, something like that. So I'm gonna lean back just a little bit. I don't wanna be real far back. Lean back just a little bit here, bring it over the side. Tap, bring back, tap, bring back. All right, so just a little bit of turning there. Um, you could have your feet like this and lean back a little bit if you want, but I'm gonna stay straight out like that. All right, this is our final thing. We got three rounds to go. 25 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, let's hit it. Here we go. Bring it over, tap, tap. You can also do this without weight. You don't even need weight. You just tap the ground. Rest. That's one round. We're on our break. All right, get set up. Four seconds. Here we go. Keep that bell close to your body too, so you're not reaching way far out for it. Right next to your hip. Ooh. Second round, always the best. Third round, best round coming up though. Here we go. Get ready for it. Lean back just a little bit. Just a little bit. Works great with the kettlebell. Medicine ball. Whatever you got. I like it. That's a good one. I always forget about that one. I like it though. Woo! Let's do some seated stretches. I'm gonna move this bell out of the way. <sighs> Sit however you like. Let's put some hand on the ground. Bring this arm up. Stretch out through that area we just worked. Good job. That was a tough one. I don't know which one of those three was the hardest, honestly. I'm trying to think back. I feel like the last one with that overhead tricep was killing me the most. It was the one thing where I was like wishing it didn't come back around again. <laughs> oh. Let's take the arms up nice and straight and then drop them down.
So however you're sitting, I just want you to see this. Let's take your right hand, put it behind your lower back, take your other hand and just grab it with like, you know, grab around the wrist or so. And you're gonna pull it back and down and then just lean that neck head away, away from that shoulder. Pull, keep pulling down and back. As much as you can pull that shoulder back. Bring it back to center. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna put my left hand behind and I'm gonna grab the wrist with my right, pull, and bring my neck away. Awesome if you've been sitting a lot, hit this one. So my left shoulder always wants to pop forward, so I'm really fighting to kind of pull it back. And I think everybody could always use a neck stretch. Oof. You're just entertained by watching the sky. Perfect. All right, let's get up on a knee and let's actually bring it out to like a corner. Lean forward into that. We're trying to get a little bit of stretch through here as well. Do whatever you want to do with your hands. We'll come back up to center and I'm gonna dig my heel into the ground and just lean forward into that. Good stuff on the legs. I like that sumo uh, single bell paused deadlift. Uh, if you do any of my online programming, some of the moves that we did today are going to be in your workouts in the coming weeks, so look for those. Try to always get some new stuff. Keep it fresh. Dig that heel into the ground, lean forward, feels good. Let's bring it into a stand. Let's get the hands behind the head. Push those elbows back. And then all we're gonna do, start to do a hip hinge. Bring those hips back. do three of these that was one go down again more Woo, that was fun super fun thanks for joining I'll upload this to YouTube so you can do it anytime you want Everybody have a really good day, and I'll see you next Saturday. Right there? Yeah.